Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today at Stamp on the Go, uh, I got these two stamp set here, the tin cards. I'm going to use this for the greeting. And I just want a um, happy hello because uh, I want to send some uh, little notes to my kids. This one's going to be for my daughter and the garden bloom. So I'm just going to use the two flowers, the, the big flowers here. So I'm going to, I won't use all the steps. I'm just going to use this one and then this one. And you know what? I think I'm going to use the B2 just because I think I want the B. We'll see. Um, I, I get those uh, stamp, um, the ink pad. I get Hello Annie, Lost Lagoon and Crumb Cake. I had this here when I unpacked. This was cut. I don't know for which card it was, but we're going to use that. So the base of the card, it's crumb cake. It is five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to fold this in half. And this, when it's folded in half, it is an A2 card that it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, my last lagoon for my first layer it is a five and a quarter by four. So that's going to go there. And this is the typeset uh, designer Siri paper. It's the specialty. It's very, very thin. And um, this one, it's cut at three and three quarter by five. So we're going to stamp on this. What am I doing? I don't have a clue. I know that I'm going to start with the greeting just because I wanted to make sure it's right. I mean, I get the space for it. So I'm putting my paper pierce mat in the back because it's photopolymer and that's going to help out quite a bit. So I'm going to use the Lost Lagoon for the grating. I'm going to put the grating right down here. You know what? Usually I like to stamp. Yes, very ink. And all my ink pad are new so I need to be very careful when I ink them because they are super juicy. I'm going to put the Happy Hello there. Now for, um, you get two choices. Sometimes I like to start with the outline. Sometimes I start with this. I'm going to start with the full image. I call that the bowl image. And if you look at that, you get the point there. Just remember to put that on top. So then it's going to be easy match. Now I'm going to come with the Hello Honey. And we're going to do about three flowers. So I'm going to put one, two, and three. Even if it's off, that's perfectly fine. Now, let me wash that just because I want to use that uh, lock again and I don't want to get my uh, finger all inky. And we're going to use the outline and I choose the outline. I'm going to be using the crumb cake. I don't know how that's going to look, but that's what I'm trying. So I'm going to use the crumb cake. And so you see now I put back my point on the top there. So then it's easy to match it. Voila. It just give an outline a little bit darker and I like that. Voila. and here so you see when you follow your point you know about the direction you're going so now from there uh, I wanted to use the B but if I use the B really I should have black I don't have black here and I'm not turning around to go get it we still going to use the B but I'm going to use it in Lost Lagoon put that right there one, two, and three. So now that I got that, it's a little dot here that go in the center of the flower or it fit perfect in the side of the bead, that little round thing. Let me wash this. And then I'm gonna take this here. Now I'm gonna use the Hello Honey. Put that there. See, I should have a smaller block, but, and you know what? Now I really need to go get a pen, 
a pen. I'm going to show you why. I need, I want my um, Project Life pen. And for some reason, oh, I got it right here. So what I'm going to do, even if it's stamp on the go, I'm going to do little, 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 see, and then over here. It's just add a little bit. Voila. So see how simple this was. Now I was thinking I wanted to sponge a bit. So I got my sponge there. I'm going to go from the outside and just go in a bit. So it's just given another frame. And I always like to start on my scrap paper when it comes to sponging. Even if it's stamp on the go, sometimes you're missing a little bit of something. Sponging add quite a bit. So now this is done. Let me close the ink pad so I don't put my hand or my project in it. So let's remove this. Let's glue this, those two together. And I had the last lagoon and this here. We're going to put that. It was inside this. I don't know for which card. It must have been um, a workshop I done and I had left over something. And I got another one of that. So just be very careful when you put your snail on this. Because like I said, it's super thin and it's easy to rip. I'm going to put that right here. And then I'm going to take this. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my snail all really fast fuse would be even better to get your um, ribbon secure. But we're going to make it work this way. I'm going to put that there. And then oh, I want the lace facing down. So you see, even with a little bit of um, of bl bling or embellishment, it's still very quick. I'm going to put that right here. Okay, now. We might as well do the envelope and the inside while we're at it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the outline that I don't know. Oh, right here it is. Okay. We're going to take the outline. And again, I'm going to use crumb cake. And I don't want it the full thing because... I'm afraid it's going to be too much and that doesn't matter where the it dropped there so it's going to be there one here we go so now I get this let's open the inside of the card usually I just do a little bit inside to match with the outside et voila so now I get this I get place to write my memo and voila my friend super simple everyday card for today's stamp on the go hope you enjoyed this till next time happy stamping and for all your product visit my blog at frenchystamps.com i appreciate your business again if you like the video you can put the thumbs up thank you and have a great day